Hello, this is KC from KC Grandpa Tech, where your geeky grandpa talks tech, tech reviews, tech solutions, and all kinds of tech. I want to talk to you today about Elon Musk and how much he has helped the Ukraine in its war against Russia and the Russian invasion. And some exciting news about their Starlink program. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, give us a share, give us a subscribe, and we'll get back to that right now. So as you know, the Starlink program, the internet solution that Elon Musk created of launching low orbit, high efficiency satellites to create internet for everyone has <clears throat> been growing and growing and growing. And when Russia invaded the Ukraine, uh, Starlink sent over six, 3,667 Starlink terminals. <clears throat> That's over $10 million worth of terminals to allow them to be able to connect with the Internet. Now, the Russians, of course, didn't like that. So what they did is they put a electromagnetic attack on the Starlink satellite system to knock down the communications. But, you know, Elon Musk's people figured out what was going on and uploaded a update to the software, basically shutting down their space wars thing. Because the Russians have been saying that they're going to take it personally and go after his satellites. Well, that's not worked out well for them. In fact, on April 21st, um, they launched 53 Starlink satellites into orbit. And that's exciting news. Basically, uh, Starlink is saying in 2020, they're going to have 4,200 active Starlink satellites in orbit, creating a network of internet. Now, obviously, right now, they're still in beta test. The high speed is still between 100 megabytes per second and 200 megabytes per second. The hope is eventually to get to a gigabyte service, but it's still taking a while because all the satellites have to be positioned and then the download stations on the earth have to be created. But the great news that you may have not, may or may not have heard is about now they are are starting to branch out and provide internet service on plane service. So what I'm talking about is that SpaceX has entered into an agreement to provide Wi-Fi service for a semi-private carrier um, called JSX. And what they'll be doing is installing these satellite connections on the aircraft and beta testing it. Eventually, they want to have at least 100 aircraft providing free internet service while in flight. Now, eventually, of course, once they get this fully operational and working properly, I, it just will take a matter of time before other airlines, such as American Airlines and, and JetBlue and everything else, adopt it and provide Wi-Fi service on their aircraft. So SpaceX is really, really progressing in the growth of their stalling program. Now, we still haven't heard anything about SpaceX's growth into um, SN20 and such, and when that, that will launch. Now, originally we've heard um, May, middle mid May, all depending on the FCC's permission, but we have seen a tremendous amount of growth in there on the launch field. And all of the extra devices been installed and possible launch sites. So we're hoping, and I'm hoping, and I want to report on that when they eventually announce that the SN20 or whatever version that they're going to launch goes into orbit. Anyway, this is the news about SpaceX. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget us to give us a share. And please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be bringing you more geeky news, more geeky information. Until next time, you have a great day.